this demonstration we are talking we are going to talk about AKS HTTP application routing which creates when you enable this add-on it creates two resources for you ingress controller and external DNS controller ingress controller exposed to the internet by using Kubernetes service of type load balancer we'll see that in the lab when we will perform the demonstration and ingress controller watches and implements Kubernetes ingress resources which creates routes to application endpoints and if we talk about external DNS watches for Kubernetes ingress resources and creates DNS a wreckage in the cluster specific DNS zone so if you have if you have not created any DNS zone in your uh, Azure subscription once you through with this demonstration you'll find one there would be a DNS zone created with a record a or text record to perform this uh, ingress okay so let's talk about how can we enable this thing we can enable this thing with the while we are creating the AKS cluster or we can do it afterwards as well so if you talk about the Azure CLI this is the very simple command where we are giving we are creating the AKS cluster in the already created resource group and there is a flag enable add-ons HTTP application routing this will create the cluster with HTTP application routing add-on enabled if you already have the AKS cluster you need to provide the information and enable it you can enable it afterwards as well so if you are going to do it with the help of Azure portal you need to come to the networking options when you create the Kubernetes cluster and at the end you will find HTTP application routing you can hit yes and create it that's how you can create your uh, HTTP application routing enabled AKS cluster which will create ingress controller and DNS to take care of your request or ingress okay now let's create it so it took a while but it has been created now I use the CLI and now we need to go ahead and grab the credentials right I pause the video because it takes time you know that right so we have grabbed the credentials for the Kubernetes clusters that we have created right here as my cluster my EKS cluster now what we need to do we need to grab the DNS information or uh, DNS zone name which is created automatically when you enable the HTTP routing and to do that we need to run this simple command and even if right now you'll go and check under DNS Azure DNS you'll find the DNS zone created for you in your Azure subscription with um, by by AKS right so if you do AZ AKS show your resource group your cluster name and to you querying this HTTP application routing config HTTP application routing zone name this will give you uh, the name of your DNS DNS zone name this name you are going to utilize for the URL that you're gonna give to your application I'll show you when we'll be uh, not creating but modifying the YAML file and this entire lab is in the MS documentation which is what I'm following and I'll share the link in the description box all right so you'll you'll, fi you'll always find this location and AKS app.io in this DNS zone okay so now we have uh, connected to our AKS cluster and there is something I wanted to show you first when we create the YAML file there is uh, annotations which is required for this kind of uh, 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 ingress for HTTP app routing ingress which is kubernetes.io slash ingress dot class colon add-on HTTP application routing it is more like labels but this is annotations okay so 
we need to go and modify the YAML file for our sample HTTP app YAML okay so what we need to do we sample I have already created one here it, it was there I have copied the YAML file from the Microsoft documentation and we need to amend this file okay I'm gonna press the insert and what it, this is the YAML for the deployment you can see with the label app as particle B as the name says when you will browse you will understand why it's particle B and this is the image that uh, it will download and use for this particular application and it will create one one deployment and one service this service is a cluster IP service for app particle B on port 80 okay and it is going to create one ingress right there okay and this is the annotation I was talking about add-on HTTP application routing and this is where we need to add the host I need to add my DNS zone which has been created for me while creating the uh, AKS cluster by enabling HTTP application routing so I need to copy that and paste it here so for that I need to get out and copy this Oh, my bad okay this is what I need to copy and I need to paste it okay it's not been copied I think my copy very good insert come back to the DNS zone name right here host right here host and paste it here okay and if I'll browse this once it has been once this a YAML file is created or deployed I would be able to browse this on port 80 with the help of this ingress it will go to the cluster service right here this this when you will browse this URL this ingress will divert it to this cluster IP on port 80 and it will divert it to the backend pods which is running with this image okay so seems like everything is done okay now uh, copy here paste it here come back now I need to do apply kubectl apply f yaml now it will create three things that we have seen in the yaml file deployment service and ingress all right deployment contains the information of pod service has the cluster ip for the parts with the same labels and ingress has the annotations HTTP application routing which has created the DNS zone and that host name is provided in the ingress hope this is clear now so it has been created now we need to go ahead and try to just wait for a minute take some time for 
while it is creating the A record and all in the DNS. So give it a minute, then we'll try to browse this. Okay, so it's been a minute. Let's curl it and uh, paste the host name. Where is the host name? I don't see it here, but yeah, uh, right here. I copied it. Party Clippy. And this is the name of the application and the DNS zone name. There it is. Now you could understand why it's party clip. It looks like you are building a microservice. Okay, and I clicked here and there it is. You see, party clippy and this, this is the DNS zone information. Okay. Now, so ingress uh, demo is is cool it's done but i just want to show you what all things been created here right if i do kubectl get deployment there is one deployment that is party clippy okay if we do get service You can see we got one service created with the name party clippy as a cluster IP that we have already seen in the YAML file. Let's do kubectl get config map. I've told you this, uh, that's been created. No, no config maps, very cool. Or kubectl get config maps i think okay cool so there is no config map let's check the uh, secrets as well if we might okay i need to check the config map because we are seeing right now in the default namespace let's have a look in the cube systems So you can see HTTP application routing, these three config map have been created. Okay. If we see same thing, deployment under the namespace cube system, you'll find, guess what you'll find? You'll find this ingress controller. All these three deployments been done in the cube system, which is the cube, which is the namespace for the you know the the uh, master spots that run on, like Edsed and uh, other pods. Okay, so if you wanna see, let me show you. Cube CDL get pods namespace cube system so these all are the you can say the administrative uh, parts cube proxy right and no, it's not showing okay cool so you, you know what I mean right so we have uh, ingress controller here you can see under the cube systems Cube system is the namespace where all those pods are running, which is which takes care of your cluster. Okay, when we learned the architecture, there was controller, scheduler, and there was Edset, there is API, those things. All right, so what we can see, what more we can see, we can we can check uh, the logs as well. Uh, let me clear this out. Let's do cube CDL logs 
cube CTL logs but I need to add the uh, deployment right so let's do that if we can uh, what did we deploy we deploy the add-on HTTP application routing okay that's fine but that's how we can uh, check the kubectl logs this is what I was uh, I, I just wanted to show you like how to check the logs this is how you can check the logs okay so I think that's all we have covered everything in this demonstration and uh, I think I know what I was mistaking because I just checked the MS doc and keep CDL log command we can use to view the application log for the uh, Nginx ingress controller so I need to run this command and we'll get all the logs kubectl logs there we there we are okay ingress controller under cube system okay that's how you can see the logs and that's how we can deploy the AKS HTTP application routing I hope this would clear uh, all the doubts if you may have or may not but that's all about the AKS HTTP application routing ingress and thank you for watching